Hey everybody, this is my tutorial on how to make a iMovie with your Google Slides. You can do exercise challenge videos with this. In this video, I'm using a MacBook, Google Slides, QuickTime, GIFs from my iPhone, Google Clip Art, and other images, royalty free music, and iMovie. The way that I do this is I go right into Google Slides, so open up a blank one, and then you're going to go to Images to start off with the background. Once you've picked the image you'd like to use, you can go down to Add to Theme, and it will become the background of your slideshow. Next you can start with adding some of the GIFs. The GIFs I've already made on my iPhone. You go to insert and then images and you can select which GIF you'd like to use. Here I am just editing some of the different frames and different borders I'd like to use with the GIF to kind of make it different from the background. Here you can move around and resize it and place it where you want to place it on the slide. The next thing I'm going to show you is using YouTube to add a countdown timer to the presentation. Now this is if you're going to use the presentation with a class. If you're going to use iMovie you don't need to do this. You're going to actually download the timer to add to iMovie which I'll show you later. So here it is just searching for a timer. Select which one you want. And you can resize it and place it where you want in this PowerPoint. The next thing you want to do is with the timer selected on the right hand side, you can see you can change the setting. So as soon as the PowerPoint opens, the clock will start, which will help if you're just going through a class and you have it on a timer setting. Here's the example of how it runs once it's completed. The GIFs and the timer will start automatically when the PowerPoint is opened. Using QuickTime, you're going to use the feature where you're going to be screen recording. It actually lets you select which area of your screen you would like to record. This comes in handy if you want to have the GIFs moving if you're using iMovie. This is what I do so it works without lagging when I'm doing a live class. I usually let it record for 30 seconds so it's easier to edit when I get to iMovie. And then the next scene, you're going to see how it actually looks after you've done the screen recording. Notice I didn't include the timer on this one. If I'm going to be using iMovie I can just add the timer in later and it makes it a little cleaner looking. After you're done with screen recordings your menu type slides that don't have movement on it you can just do a screenshot of to add into iMovie. Next thing we're going to do is open up iMovie. It should be right on your hard drive and you can actually drag the files that you want into the timeline and then in the next clip you can see that you can move around and edit them and move them to where you want.
Here's where I'm adding the timer. You can download the timers off of YouTube using different programs. Uh, this definitely helps to make it look a little cleaner when you're doing a presentation. And you can just throw the countdown timer right in there. I'm showing you here that you can use split screen. There are different features. I like the picture in picture. And sometimes you even have to swap it um, to what you want picture in picture. But you can swap it so that the background of your slides is going to be the background of this movie and then you could have the countdown timer smaller within the actual background. The next step is to add music into the video. It's just as easy as everything else. You're just going to drop it right in after you find the track. After you put the track into iMovie, you can edit it and do some other cool things with it. You can also fade it out or turn the volume up if you need to. Now you're ready to share once you've done and completed all your editing. Go up to File and then share. From there I usually use file under share and then I change the name of whatever the movie is and click next. You can change the quality and everything else to format you'd like and it usually takes some time depending on the size of the movie for it to convert and save and then it will save right to wherever you have picked to save it. Here's my saved file now, the MP4. Uh, iMovie has a lot of great features that you guys can kind of go through, whether it's transitions, adding titles, different music backgrounds, fading in and out. I didn't want to go into all that in this video, but if you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up. Thanks a lot.